what is a sales funnel and why it has more to do with know, like, and trust. Hello, if we haven't met before, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. So what is a sales funnel and why it has more to do with know, like, and trust versus selling in a coaching business? Sales funnels are an essential part of any business, don't get me wrong, especially in the coaching industry. They're not just about selling. They're about building relationships. And that's why I personally call them relationship funnels. You see, building a relationship with a potential client is not any different than building any other relationship. It will always follow the same path. You meet, you get to know each other, you decide you like to hang out with this person, and the more you hang out, the more you trust each other. Am I right? When you're building a sales funnel, you'll make sure that you are doing the same thing you would do to create any long-lasting relationship. Imagine you're meeting somebody new for the first time. You're both strangers, but over time, you start to get to know each other. You decide you like each other, and eventually, you build that trust. And a sales funnel, that's actually no different. With an online coaching business, you will meet people in a variety of ways. It may be through social media, maybe they find you via a Google search, or more than likely, an introduction from one of your mutual online friends. When you're building a sales funnel, you need to make sure that you're doing the same thing you would do to create any long-lasting relationship. You need to meet people Get to know them and build trust. And the key to building trust is being visible. Yep, it has a lot to do with visibility. Well, first, you need to be visible because really, how will a potential client find you if you're not putting yourself out there? It can be scary to put yourself out there, but it is essential because if you're not sharing your knowledge, then who is? You must share your knowledge. Engage on social media and attend local meetups if that's your thing. If you're not putting yourself out there, how will anyone, let alone your dream client, know what you offer? This is how you build visibility and connect with the people you're meant to serve. But I know that being visible can be very scary. It's an area that I struggle with too. I love to have my head down working in the back office behind the scenes, but that's not how you build relationships. You need to face your fears and put yourself out there. I know I had to do the same thing. I know you can do it too. If you stay in your little world, you will have difficulty connecting with people with whom you have a genuine bond with. They are the people that you're drawn to, the people that you'd like to serve. If you're not visible, how will they find you? So get yourself out there and mingle. I get it, but you know what? Overcoming visibility phobia can only be done by facing your fears. So stop lurking in those Facebook groups and actually share your wonderful knowledge. Maybe create a reel for Instagram. Comment on a post for somebody that you admire and would love to have as a dream client. Or the love, just begin to engage. Put a few stories on Instagram and then maybe begin to go live on social media when you're just a tiny bit comfortable, but still uncomfortable. This gives people the opportunity to engage with you. And again, if you feel more comfortable face-to-face, -face, search for 
different meetups in your area or groups or organizations that you can join and help with that different connection in your community. Don't make the same mistake I did. Stop assuming that people know what you know. Share your unique self. And now that they've actually met you, it's time to start to get to know each other. How would you do this if you were developing a budding friendship? Would you ask them out for a cup of coffee? Well, guess what? You can do the same thing online. You can have a virtual coffee chat. I used to do them all the time. They're wonderful. Block time out on your schedule a couple times a week for 15 minutes to have a little video chat. You can do it via Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, whatever video conferencing platform that you use. And this gives you the added benefit of having that face-to-face -face experience. It is much easier to get to know somebody if you can actually hear the voice inflection and see the smiling face. Trust will come. Once you've made a connection, it's time to start getting to know each other. This is where the no part of the funnel comes into place. You can schedule that virtual coffee date, engage with them on social media, or maybe have them join your email list. The more that you interact, the more trust you'll build. And trust is essential. It's a two-way street. You both need to feel comfortable in the growing relationship. Without trust, you won't be able to move forward and discover the solutions that you can offer to help them. In time, the relationship will continue to develop, whether it's through those coffee chats, like I said, engaging on social media or subscribing to your email list. Trust grows as your relationship grows. A growing relationship requires both members to feel comfortable with each other. In the relationship funnel, no like and trust is at the top. Once you've built the trust, the discovery step is next. This is where you pay attention to the things they talk about and their struggles. And then you invite them to a discovery call. Now that you know their struggles, don't be scared to tell them how you can help. If they do not reach out to you first, it's okay to create a little plan and invite them to a discovery call and give a few solutions you can offer. If you have a true connection, why would you sit back and watch them struggle when you're offering this exact solution they have been searching for. This is the discovery step to your funnel. After this, you'll both decide if you're a good fit to move forward and become part of the inner circle or a new client for you. The goal is to turn your clients into champions, people who give you love notes and introduce you to their friends. This is how your inner circle grows and your business thrive. Now keep in mind, after the discovery call, both of you get to decide if this relationship deserves an invite to your inner circle. You want to make sure your inner circle is saved for those clients with similar values and characteristics because really, you don't want to be alone when you break out in a happy dance to celebrate their win. Okay, so I've mentioned champions. Now tell me, you hear in your head, we are the champions. I don't know, for some reason, I am. And the goal is to turn all of your clients into champions. So what exactly are champions? They are the people that give you those love notes and they introduce you to their friends because they know you can help them. You have that trust between you and they know that you will not steer their friends wrong. And this is how your inner circle grows. Don't just take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Implement a sales funnel in your business and see how it changes how you connect with your potential clients. You'll be amazed at the difference 
it makes. In a nutshell, a sales funnel is a process of building a relationship with a potential client by getting to know them, liking them, and building trust. It's not just about selling. It's about creating a connection that can last for the long term. It's a way to understand the struggles of your clients and to offer them the solutions they need to overcome them. As a coach, your ultimate goal is to make your clients champions, people who sing your praises and refer you to others. So what are you waiting for? Go out there and start building your sales funnel today and watch your business grow. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you back here next week.